Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8070 Lock here, and uh, today I'm bringing you my third, uh, my first video. So I guess I'm turning this into a bit of a series. Hope you guys are okay with that. I love doing these videos, so um, <laughs> I love being able to tell you guys about how my how fucked up my life is. So, so today, as the title suggests, um, I'm gonna be talking about my first kiss. I know there's tons of people who go on YouTube and do all this, but uh, I think mine was a little different than most, so I'm going to do it anyways, and you guys can all fuck yourselves if you don't like it, because it's my life, so YOLO. Um, so first I'll give you guys a little bit of a, the background knowledge about this. Um, it was the summer when it happened, uh, it was when I was going into grade 9, I believe. Uh, it was, yeah, because I just graduated from grade 8. The girl uh, who I was with at the time was in grade 7, and uh, like she was special like I was literally blowing off lunch periods to spend time with her which fucking grade 8 that was like fucking important and this was before we were dating like like you know I was treating this girl like top shit because uh <laughs> I'd go back to class after spending the lunch period with her my hands smelling like shit because after the kids leave I'd give her foot rubs you know how fucking much I had to like a girl to give her foot rubs and shit like that like, it was fucking ridiculous. But, uh, <laughs> I'm happy I did it, because we ended up dating, I think, just maybe a couple weeks after school ended, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I'm not going to mention her name in this, because that's fucking gay, and dropping names is for faggots, but uh, we were actually a really weird couple, and I'm sure one of my friends that watches it will drop the name in the comments anyways. We were a really weird couple, because uh, she was, like, a skinny-ass cheerleader and um i well i had the build of a top shit o-lineman well like to be fucking honest i still have the build of a top shit o-lineman and you know i actually fuck you all i am top shit but anyways uh so me and her we dated for like a month before we actually had our first kiss which was actually pretty pathetic but uh we were dating along with one of my closer friends and he was dating her best friend so we always did stuff together like that it was a lot of fun, and we had these fucking bubbles in my mouth that's fucking gay. I don't even care. You guys can hear it, um, but, so, um, I always had these plans to kiss her, but I guess I never really got to do it, or I, I guess she never really wanted to, but, uh, finally, nearing the end of the summer, I actually had this, like, amazing top shit plan, kiss her at the top of the Ferris wheel at the fair that goes near uh, on near my in my city every year it's uh, the Winona Peach Festival I'm sure everyone that's watching this video will have heard of it because um, most of my fan base and my friends that go to it anyways but uh so but anyways yeah so I was gonna kiss her at the top of the ferris wheel fucking great idea cuz I'm a fucking awesome thinker and yeah so it finally comes along and I'm waiting for her turn to go on uh, the fucking ferris wheel by herself. Now, the fucking guys at the bottom of it were assholes, and always matched us up with these, like, random people that would just stare at us the whole time, so it, we, we were never alone, and I, we didn't want to do it in front of my friends either, even though that, <laughs> in hindsight, that would have been, like, um, in hindsight, that would have been, like, a lot better of an idea than fucking going on alone, but, uh, so yeah, uh, we never really got to do it. It was fucking three days. We never got on alone. Or if I think we did once, but she didn't really want to do it. She wasn't feeling good. Or she was mad at me or something. Never fucking knew with her. So um, the worst thing was that I actually spent that whole three days with her, like at the Peach Fest. And I had groups of friends going every day. Like my best friend, all of them, were all pissed at me because I blew them off to spend time with this girl at this peach fest where i was supposed to kiss her and they're all thinking wow you haven't even kissed her yet it's been like a month and a half and it's like yeah well i'm going to don't worry i got you <laughs> so anyways i i got a lot of my friends mad at me but in the end i think it was worth it because um uh, i guess it was the final day of the festival and they were cleaning up all the rides and shit whatever and um uh, her best friend texts me, and I was already at home at this point. Her best friend texts me, and uh, she's like, you have to get here. She's a surprise for you. I'm thinking, fuck yeah, gonna finally get my first kiss. It's been fucking 13 years, however fucking old I was. 13 years, haven't gotten my first kiss yet, besides like that kindergarten bullshit. Doesn't count. I'm gonna fucking do it. So, um... I teleported to my mom's room. I did not fucking run there. I did not walk there. I just appeared there at the snap of my fingers. I said, Mom, I need a fucking ride to Winona. 
so I can kiss my girlfriend. And she's like, and then she's like, well, I don't know, we're going out for dinner. And my dad comes in and is like saying, oh yeah, we're all going out for dinner. We're going to Swiss Chalet. He offered me the choice to either go out for dinner with my family to Swiss Chalet or to see my girlfriend. First the fucking foot rubs, and then I had to fucking skip dinner at Swiss Chalet nonetheless for her. The fact that an O-lineman skipped dinner for you, that's really fucking special. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I got there, and her best friend set this all up, um, and she was still dating my other friend at the time, so I guess, I think she wanted us to do it so that she could do it with him. She just wanted us to go first, but whatever. She was actually the same age as I was, um, my, but my girlfriend was the only one that was, like, a year younger, but they were still best friends, so it was fun. Um, so I finally got there reached the front of the baseball diamond, which is uh, right where the Peach Fest was, and I kind of just stood there, like, spaced out, like, this is actually gonna happen, like, I'm finally gonna get my first fucking kiss, and I'm just spaced out standing there, and a friend was like, close your eyes, so I just stood there, honestly, it felt like I was standing there for, like, five fucking minutes, with my eyes closed, just, like, staring into nothingness that is the back of your eyelids, because, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I was just staring, standing there, doing nothing and then she fi I can finally like feel her presence getting closer and closer to me and I'm just waiting like we're finally gonna kiss hurry the fuck up and do it because my parents are gonna get back from dinner soon I wanna fucking kiss you I've been waiting like 8 months so and someone still up my ass so. so she finally gets close enough and we're ready to kiss and everything and then um she pussies out no I know, really fucking gay, but then her friend ended up making her do it, so it was worth it in the end. Um, uh, honestly, we ended up kissing, which was awesome. Um, it was pretty fucking melodramatic for you guys, but I don't really care. It was really fun. It was actually one of the happiest moments of my life. I'll remember it forever. And, uh, if my girlfriend that I'm dating right now sees this, she's probably going to be pretty pissed and not talk to me for a month, but whatever, um, I have to talk about this, this was a pass, and it ha I was happy it happened, I always will be, but anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, I'll be coming out with a lot of amazing videos soon, drop a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more, uh, don't forget to comment for more feedback, and, uh, I love reading the comments, so, if you have any ideas for any more of my first videos, don't forget to leave them there, and uh, I love everyone who watched this video, so thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day, faggots. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Hello, baby. Did you get your hair done? Did you get your hair done? What? You look beautiful. What? Spotted. Uh.